You know the United States Army still has a cavalry division. It's the 1st Cavalry, and they still ride horses for ceremonial purposes. But did you know that the United States Army at one time had a camel division? I'm going to show you about that. And the person who headed up was High Jolly, right here in Quartzsite, Arizona. I figured it'd be a good idea to come see the High Jolly Monument here in Quartzsite. And we're going to take a look at the monument here. He is actually interned here. This is his resting place right there. It's an interesting, interesting story about this man. And we'll take a look at this board, a storyboard, this monument. Uh, till they called him, the Americans called him the High Jolly because they could not pronounce his name. It's a Syrian name. He's born in Greece. Let's take a look at it. Very beautiful sunny day here in Quartzsite, Arizona. Really nice here. Anyway, this is the last camp of High Jolly. His real name is uh, known as Philip Tidro, but his uh, foreign name is High Jolly. I, I don't know how you pronounce this. Americans could not pronounce it, so they just called him High Jolly. And that. Uh, so this is the last camp of High Jolly. The pyramid of native stone marks the resting place of High Jolly, a Greek born in Syria, also known as Philip Tedro and High Jolly. High Jolly was hired, hired in 1857 as a camel herder in the U.S. Corps Army short-lived historic camel corps by Lieutenant Edward F. Beale in his expedition to chart a wagon road across the New Mexico and Arizona ended at the Colorado River, which is just a couple of miles to my left. In 1861, the Civil War commenced, ending the day of the Camel Corps. High Jolly returned to Quartzsite, trying his hand at mining, packing, scouting, delivering the jackass mail, and selling water to travelers. And the Quartzsite Cemetery is named in his name. And this is his monument. He, Buck Connors is buried here as well. He was uh, some kind of a cowboy movie star way back. The last camp of High Jolly, born somewhere in Syria around 1828, died at Quartzsite, December the 16th, 1902, came to the cemetery February uh, 1856. Camel driver, packer, scout, over 30 years of faithful aid to the U.S. government, Arizona Highway Department, 1935. He is interned here. It's on the uh, National Register of Historic Places. This is the High Jolly Monument. He was one of the people that forged this place, known as Quartzsite. And that's why you see camel uh, images all around is in his honor, actually. This is an example of how much people care about uh, about uh, this cemetery. They really keep it up. The sun is so bright here in Arizona. Okay, this is Buck Connor. Real name is George Washington Connor. Buck Buckshot. 1880 to 1947. Well, riding around the desert and we came across this structure. I don't exactly know what it is, but it's, uh, the government's got it fenced off. I mean, it's out in the middle of nowhere. And you can see I'm going to scan and do a 360. And you'll see we are in the middle of zero point nowhere. I don't even know what this is. I'll have to do some studying.
they used the corks to do the trim. That's exactly right. That's a lot of work right there. I don't yeah. know how, yeah. do you see any idea how old this is? I don't, there's no sign. There's no sign, is it? But be beautiful view. Oh, oh my around. God, look at this. Look at this. house <laughs> used to be quartzite was established in uh, in the late 1800s I think 1879 but look at the corner how they put the uh, the quartz when they built it, they built out local materials. There's like some turquoise over there. This looks like the in main entrance. Pardon me? But that stone above the door it looks like a main entrance, kind of. Oh, yeah. Especially selected. Come here, buddy. You're going to get hurt in there. Come here. Some more. Come here, Scooter. Get out, out there, of there. Turquoise. Buddy. Come here, buddy. Turquoise up there. Yeah, what are all the little circles for? Isn't that something? Kind of looks like it would be a wine rack. <laughs> a wine rack? Maybe. Uh, we've seen where people use. Yeah. Uh, well, let's go on down the road. Okay, come on, baby. gone as far as we can go. We're too low to the ground. We'll be a lot of trouble getting out of it. So we're gonna have to turn around. Oh well that was fun. That was fun. Well that's quite interesting. Yeah that's west east. I don't know what it's supposed to mean. Is that the that's the peace sign is it? Huh? But it, that thing in the middle keeps it from being a peace sign. Oh. Doesn't it? Yeah. Maybe that's a different kind of peace sign. Made this out of quartz. Very creative. Took a lot of work. Spider, I messed up their house. <laughs> Out in the middle of the desert, a nail. <laughs> Let's see. Looks like marble. There's some more nails. <laughs> Isn't that something? Dingleberries? Round rocks. Sounds like rock, yeah. Hmm? Wow. Put it right in the middle. Them, but it'd be like a Piper Cub trying to follow the Blue Angels. 
and this you do you do not even touch this don't put your hand even on it but look how pretty it is what a defense system eh look how pretty it is a lot of beauty in the desert That's over here. I see a class A way up there. And you can see there's some kind of a mining operation here. This is the historic gold eye mine and cabin. And the cabin's, uh, it's kind of ruddy. I don't think I can go over there. Historic gold eye mine. 